Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog, another cleaning, organizing vlog for my office. Um, I have a couple updates that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to turn the camera and show you what, um, yeah, what exciting news I have. <laughs> Look what I did. Actually, my dad mostly did it. He helped me get this big shelf that was there is finally gone. And I cleaned up the little cat area, put Mochi's freshly washed bed there. Um, and I don't know that I'm going to keep it there. I kind of like having it in front of a window, but it's there for a minute, um, until I figure out where it's permanent home will be. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys before I jump into doing more organizing, I wanted to show you kind of what I feel like I have left down here. Um, before we begin moving bins down, cause we're getting really close to that step. So this is the other shelf. Um, I just need to assemble that one. Once that's assembled, I can start bringing duff stuff down, but I don't want to do that until I get the rid of the, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. <laughs> Sorry. Let me slow down here. So I'm not tripping over my words. As I was trying to say, I don't want to start bringing bins down until I finish getting rid of the excess clutter that was in here. So I want to show you what I have left, what I have planned still. So there's a little bit of clutter right here. That is a Goodwill bag. I want to get rid of those lids. I still need to clean off my, um, you know, steamer here. This is just a shipping box. This section needs clean, uh, like the floor needs swept over here still. This is my last like big clutter pile. I feel like this section of random stuff. There's some boxes. This used to be my clean, my clean, my shoe cleaning bin, but it was kind of falling apart. I need to go through and put what I want to keep in there with my other shoe cleaning bin and get rid of the rest. This bin is mochi was scratching at it and it's just falling apart. So I need to take care of that. These boxes just need to be rehomed onto the box shelf. Um, so I want to get this whole section cleaned up and swept. And then I need to address this over here. Two more things over here, actually. A few more things over here. <laughs> this bag, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we started this, this bag was, there was two bags here of stuff that was listed that I was planning to get rid of. I need to go through this again and get rid of another at least five or six items from this bag. It's stuff that I was really hoping would sell and it's just not selling. Um, these shoes used to be mine. I need to clean them and sell them. And then this is just needs to be recycled. It's just a box. Um, okay. And then this is the stuff from my office that I need to either store. I need to either pack it up and store it. I need to find a home for it in here, or I need to, um, just donate it. So I need to decide what to do with that stuff. This bin is the cleaning clothes that need cleaned. And then I have some, um, paper for wrapping, which I just need to put on my other shelf. Um, there's some shoes that need listed here. My bags down here are, I still only have three bags, so that's good. And one of them's like half full. Um, so that's all right. And then there's just some stuff on this floor and then I need to clean this carpet. Okay, and then, oh, there's stuff on the table. <laughs> so, gosh, it's just like a never-ending process, you guys. I'm trying really hard. I keep thinking. But you know what? I just watched back the uh, first video in the series, and I realized how far I've come. There's a lot that has changed in here. There's a lot less stuff in here, but I'm not done. So, yeah, let me get through some of these piles, um, and then hopefully I'll be able to build that shelf before the end of this video. Also, this bag. I think I made in the first video or second video maybe. These are shoes that need cleaned. I haven't touched those. So I need to clean those so I can list those. I don't have a lot left to list because I've been sourcing a lot less. I've been being a lot pickier with my sourcing. Um, so even though I'm only listing uh, between four to five items a day, I, I don't have much to list because I'm just not sourcing as much. So that's good. That is good. Um, so yeah, okay, let's get to cleaning. All right, just a very quick update. I'm out here working and I just uh, filled some bags of inventory and I was able to get rid of another Ikea bag, which means I have two left. Now they're both very full and I do still have all the overflow of jeans on the shelf that I've got to either uh, put in bags or um, get in the jean storage or else I'm gonna, you know, have to just downsize it. But I really want to get this all cleared out under here. So that is, that is really good. You guys, I started with six. No, was it six? No, I started with five, five overflowing Ikea bags and I'm down to two. So I'm happy with that. Well, hello, hello back. I'm back. 
Um, today is actually Saturday and I got a couple little projects done on this vlog, but not much. It's been another hectic week. It's just been a lot going on. And um, so what I want to do right now is finish up some of the projects that I showed you that were kind of unfinished because I want to get that shelf built tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to have time today. I have some plans this afternoon, um, but tomorrow I want to get that shelf built so I can start moving bins downstairs. Um, so yeah, let's get to finishing up these projects. Oh, also I did want to update you guys. As far as numbers go, I've actually gone backwards. I am now at 47.26, so I've actually gone up quite a bit. Sales have been horrendous this month, and I just don't even know what's going on. I kind of feel like, you know, I have been listing less, like I talked about, so I know that's contributing. I know everybody's experiencing some slowness, slowness right now because of the economy, so that's a contributor. January is usually a pretty good month for me, so I'm surprised I haven't bounced back a little bit more. But um, I know that those those are factors. And then I think the other factor is that I, I, I'm thinking that my promoted listings <laughs> is uh, affecting it. So um, I haven't talked about this, but I did do the beta proto, uh, promo listings where they gave me like free promoted listings for two weeks. And they gave me like $150 a week or something. The budget they gave me was crazy. I'd have to go back and look, but it was a pretty high budget. And during that time, my sales doubled that month. Like it was crazy. So of course, when my promotion ended, um, my free promotion, I decided to pay for it. And I at first was doing like, I think 40 or $50 a week. And then that wasn't, that was doing okay, but it wasn't um, cost wise adding up for me. So I lowered it to 30 a week. And that was just terrible. I was paying 30 a week for like $100 in sales. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Because I also, you know, that does not include those promoted listings do not include what you're paying. Um, you know, in fees to Poshmark already, the 20% per sale. So my fees for my sales were outrageously high. So I had to just cancel it all together. And I feel like since I canceled it last month is when I canceled it, my sales have tanked. So I don't know if I'm getting like punished for canceling it or if it's because everyone else is doing promoted. So mine are getting lost in translation because I'm not promoting. I'm not sure it might not even be a factor because there's so much other factors going on right now. But you know how it is when you're a reseller, you have to try to figure out, um, you know, what formula is going to work for your business. And I'm a little stumped right now. But those are some of my thoughts. I definitely know that the economy is contributing. Obviously, it could it has to have a, an impact on on it. But um, there's something else going on. So I got to kind of figure that out. Sorry, my cat is scratching at the door just let him out two seconds ago. And now he wants back in. So I'm going to let him in and then we'll get started on some projects. These are my bags again. I just don't know where to store these. I need a place to store these or maybe I need to downsize how many I have because you know what I should. I don't use these as much as I used to. Usually what I use these Ikea bags for is the bins and rarely do I need more than three at a time when I go there. Um, and then I used to also, well, I used to use them to store clothing that needed put away, but now I only have two for that purpose, <coughs> which are still being used. So those aren't included in this. And then I also used to use them when I was um, selling to a, a local reseller in bulk, but I don't do that anymore either. So I feel like I should just keep three of the Ikea bags and then I'll use these Goodwill bags um, for donations sometimes. So I'll set those separately um and then i need to find a place to just store these when um i'm not going to the bins because that's really all that i use them for now so let me get rid of the extra ones i want to try to find the ones that are in the best condition um honestly it doesn't even matter i never zip them closed either i just load them up and carry them in here from my car that's all that i use them for honestly yeah let me just stick to my first thought i'm gonna keep three and then i'm gonna get rid of the rest of these all right, I got three Ikea bags. Set those aside. And these are all the extra bags. There's a whole lot in here. This is an athleta bag. I think I'll put that with my bundle. There's all the Goodwill bags. More than I need, probably. But I do 
Wow, so I need to start bringing the bags back to Goodwill so I'm not buying more. They charge me eight cents per bag at my local Goodwill. Clearly, I'm not bringing them often enough, enough because I keep getting them built up even though I'm using them for donations and stuff. Okay, so this is my, I'm gonna donate these. I'm actually gonna use these for bringing donations because I know I have more to donate still in here. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just pull out one at a time and fill it up with donations and donate them with the contents, if that makes sense. Um, so all of these need donated. This bag right here, I'm gonna start with some donations that I know I have. Um, I'm gonna start loading that now. Just so much stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna go through this basket right here. This basket is just random stuff. So there's like cle clean shoe cleaning supplies. I have a shoe cleaning bin over there, which I actually need to organize too, but not today probably. Um, so I'll consolidate this over there. There's some shipping supplies. There's just random stuff in here. So I'm going to go through this really quick off camera. Um, and hopefully some of this stuff can be donated and we'll just start moving forward. Haha. -ha, I finally got the basket out of here. So I went through the basket. There was a lot of trash, which I got rid of. Um, there was some things that I could donate some like reusable totes. There was a Dooney person there. That's in really terrible condition that I thought I would restore it, but never ever took the time to do it. And I've had it for like two years. So I'm going to donate that. Hopefully someone else can restore her. And then this basket I'm also going to use for donation. So everything here basically is going to be donated. Hopefully I can fill some of these totes and baskets with stuff to bring to the Goodwill as I continue to clean. But this is all basically just bags that need donated. Okay, now we're going to get to the rest of this mess. But I first have to go inside and get a trash bag because both my trashes are overflowing. And there's clearly a lot more trash that I just uncovered. So I need to get a new trash bag. I am going to move all of this shipping supplies that I found. There's some um, boxes and poly bags. I'm going to try to consolidate all that onto here. This shelf I want to be for just shipping. So all the non-shipping stuff, mostly, most of that needs to be moved off of here. I might keep like that fan and a few other things stored on here, but like the shoes and that receiver, I need to get that all out of here. So, all right, that is what I'm working on right now. Okay, two garbage bags ready to move outside. And then when we come over here, look at that, another cleared out area. Now, if I could just keep things <laughs> cleared out, uh, I just keep getting stacks of stuff everywhere. But um, anyways, this is my heater. I need this because it gets really cold out here without it. Um, it's the only heat in this place. It actually does a pretty decent job for a portable heater. Um, and then I have the shelf. I still need to clean up a bit and get rid of some of the stuff on here. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, because I just don't have it in me to do anymore at this moment in time. Um, these are just some shipping boxes. I'm just kind of keeping them on there for now. It doesn't get hot on top of this, so it's okay for them to be up there. All right, so that is done. This is Goodwill. Um, this bag is Goodwill too, actually. Let me move that over here. These are all Goodwill stuff. So we we'll just kind of stack that in there. Um, and now it's time to build the shelf. Um, I think maybe I'll clean this off real quick, build this shelf. Those lids, I'm just going to get rid of. I don't need those. I'm going to put them in recycling, I think. Um, but yeah, it's starting to feel clearer. It is starting to feel clearer. Uh, still show you where it's at right now. Still a few messes here and there, but I'll take these out too, this trash. But overall, it is getting better. Amelia was out here playing, so there's a few little messes of things that she got into, um, which happens. It's just part of life. I just have to keep up on that. This is when, when she comes out here, she likes to play with this little shopping cart and go shop my office. So I find like random stuff in her little shopping cart. It's pretty funny. Um, I'm going to go through this bag, actually. Maybe I should do that on camera. I need to get rid of this stuff or most of this stuff. Um, I think I've told you guys about it a few times. It's just stuff that I had in a live sale, never sold. I discounted prices. I've been just trying to get rid of it. It's actually, there's a lot in here. It's pretty heavy. Let's go through this real quick together. I even all, know all what is in here. So let's see. This is Harper Heritage. I don't even know where this brand is sold. sold. I want to say it's like maybe Buckle or something like that. Um, but it's just a basic... It's really cute. I actually bought this for myself, but it didn't quite fit me right. So I was going to sell it. It's really cute though. I need to double check and make sure that's even listed. I honestly don't know if I listed that or not. 
All right, this is a Banana Republic skirt. I'm gonna get rid of this. This style just is kind of dated. I don't really like the, it's kind of like a skater, but it has like this dropped waist and I don't know. It's just, it's Banana Republic. It's a basic black skirt. The style's a little bit off, so that can go. Next, this Ann Taylor skirt. This again, it's just not a trending style right now. So it's Ann Taylor Petite too. So it's a too petite, not a great size. It's animal print, which some animal print, some animal print still sells, but I don't think this is the right kind of animal print. And it's a pencil skirt, which pencil skirts are not really moving for me at this time. Um, so yeah, I think it's also, it's new without tags. It still has the sticker on the zipper. It's in great condition, but maybe I'll make a box. Maybe I should make a box for thread up. You know what? I think I'm going to do that because Ann T Taylor and Banana Republic can do okay on thread up. Let's do that. So both of those I'm going to send to thread up. This too, actually, this is Weston Wear, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. Weston Wear, size small. This is a Y2K dress, which I thought it would do okay because, I mean, look at this. It's so Y2K. I know I wore this in the early 2000s or something similar. It's got like the sequined halter style neckline, the ruching with the sequins right here. Like, how Y2K is this? But I've had no attention on it. I've had it listed for a long time now. It just isn't moving. So let's send that to thread up too. Here's another Y2K piece that I just cannot seem to sell. Seven for all mankind. It's like, it's not quite corduroy, but it is like a thicker denim mini skirt. And this is so Y2K, but again, and it's good brand for that era as well. It's not selling. So let's send all of that to thread up. Everything in here is going to be good brands, I think, because it's stuff that I hated to just like donate. So if I kept it, there was a reason I kept it. Jane and Delancey, this is new with tags even and a plus size. What size is it? It's 2X, I think. I don't see it now. I'm pretty sure it's a 2X. It's this floral peplum long sleeve blouse. Um, I don't know. I just no interest in this at all, um, but it is new with tags. So let's send that to thread up too. Um, this is another new with tags. This, oh, these, these dang sweatpants. So there was a time two to three years ago that everyone was saying Juicy Couture velour pants were coming back. So I bought a bunch from, not consignment, from wholesale. And I cannot give these things away. I don't know if they were just oversaturated or if it never really was a thing. Juicy Couture, black label, which is their higher label. This is a size medium, but I had, I think I still have some upstairs. I probably have four or five pairs left still, even though I've sold some. Anyway, size medium, new with tags. This was all, um, from a supplier. I can't remember the name of the wholesale company I bought them from, but they are the velour skinny leggings. So maybe that's the problem because they're skinny and not flared. Cause the, I think the thing that people were looking for was the Y2K look, which was the flared boot cut type legging. Um, okay. This is um, which this is a brand I buy sometimes. And this is new with tags, but I think the style is just not right. It's a size small it's ribbed and striped. Um, I think it's just this cutout pattern in the front that is not like super on trend right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I ha I said something wasn't on trend the other day and I got corrected. I'm like, someone said that it was on trend. So it's, it's not about what's on trend or not. It's about what's selling. And these styles don't sell for me. Maybe someone else can sell it. I don't know. Maybe ThreadUp can. So I'll send it to ThreadUp. All right, next. This is um, a brand I don't know. Um, but it was attacked on label, I think is why I bought it. I don't even remember buying this. I've had it so long. Mesmerize, or maybe I got this from a thread up box. I could have. I used to buy thread up bulk, bo bulk boxes. I try really hard not to do, do it anymore. Sometimes it's tempting, especially when I get like a referral credit every now and then I'll go buy one, but I try not to because I end up listing stuff that I would not normally pick up or list. And then I end up with a bunch of junk in my closet. But these are new with tags. They're size small. And I think they're cute. They're like a high rise, flat front, very Y2K again. It's got like this scalloped edging. And they're not a flare, but probably like a boot cut leg. And then they have this like crochet detail on the bottom. So I'm going to send those to thread up. I don't, they don't photograph well because they're white. All right. This one I think I'm going to keep trying to sell. I don't think I'm ready to send this one to thread up. This is. Michael Stars, new with tags, extra small. What's the original MSRP? Original MSRP is not on here, so I don't know. But it is brand new with tags, and it's a sweater dress. I actually think it's cute. I don't know why it's not selling. 
maybe because it's an extra small, I don't know. I'm gonna put this in with inventory that needs to be bagged and put away. Ugh, here's another thing I cannot give away. I've had this forever. This is from the brand Gilly. It's a size small slash medium, new with tags. And it's just this like army green utility style jacket. It's not a bad style. I don't know why I can't sell it. So we'll send that to thread up. All right, this is, oh, this is um, Paper Moon by Stitch Fix size medium. This is not selling just because it's really basic. It's just a black cap sleeve. It does have this really pretty like uh, tulip sleeve though. I like that. Um, I would keep this as, if it was my size. This is a great like career style piece, but it's so basic. It's just not selling in my closet. It's not like an amazing brand. It's a decent brand, but not amazing. Ugh, these I cannot get rid of. This is Outdoor Voices, size extra small. It's the color blocked leggings that they used to be so popular, but People just aren't buying them anymore. So it's just been sitting and sitting. And I even think I did like a live sale and tried um, selling these for like $5 and nobody, nobody's interested. So let's send those to thread up. Here's a pair of Nike Pro pants. These are size extra small and they're just a little bit busy. The print is a little bit busy. They're cropped. I just don't feel like this is a style anyone's looking for. Plus it's just like Nike leggings, very saturated. So it's a hard sell. We'll send that to thread up. And then this J. Crew skirt, another pencil skirt, another louder print. Um, yeah, let's just send that to thread up. I think that was a smaller size too. Oh my God, this is this. I hate, <laughs> you know, those listings you've had in your closet for so long that every time you share your closet, you hate seeing it come up. This is that listing for me. It's bar three, size small. Um, it's just a basic uh long sleeve top but it has these like really flared sleeves like let me open it all the way so you can see super flared sleeve um I don't even know if that's still in style I have no idea but nobody wants it I can't give it away so we'll send that to thread up too um oh this little girl's jacket is so cute but my daughter didn't like it I bought it from the bins and she didn't want it so I've had it and I've been had it listed forever cannot give it away it's just cat and jack so it's just you know target but it's a size four slash five and it's this cute denim jacket with these pink and white paint splatters and it says be happy on the back. I thought it was adorable. I thought some little girl would love wearing this but cannot get rid of it. All of this is going to go to thread up I think except the one item so far. Altered State another one that I've been looking at in my listings forever size small slash medium. I literally bought or I literally the listing for this was listed um before I moved in with my second husband, you guys. So five years ago, six years ago, way too long. It's just a beige cardigan. Again, it's just like a staple, but it's so plain and boring. Nobody's searching for that. So let's, let's just get rid of it. Um, Julie Haas. I don't really know much about this brand. I think it is a higher end brand, but it's one that's like very obscure. People aren't looking for it. So it's just not really selling. Um, and the style is not like super current. It's um, kind of a metallic gold with these polka dots on it. And it's a sleeveless, almost like a baby doll. Yeah, it's got kind of a higher waistline on it. So it's almost got like a baby doll or empire waist, and, but it's, it's a cocktail length. So I don't know, just can't seem to sell that. I think it's just because it's a brand that people don't really know or recognize. Oh, here's another one that's been listed so long. I just need to get rid of this stuff, you guys. Leith, um, which is a Macy's or Nordstrom's, I can't remember. In-house brand. It's a size medium. It's just a black jumpsuit. So jumpsuit, but it's got the skinnier leg and it also has these crisscross and cutouts in the front, which just makes it really difficult to wear. So nobody wants that. Let's send that to thread up. These are just a faded pair of plain black leggings from Tallulah. I do like selling this brand still, but these leggings are very, very basic, very, very plain, a little bit faded. Um, these are actually my daughter's size. I might see if she wants these for just like around the house kind of pants. If she doesn't, I'll send those to thread up too, or maybe I'll just donate them. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I thought this was so cute. I'm so sad that this was not something someone wanted. <laughs> You know, sometimes you believe in something and nobody else does. <laughs> that was this dress. Uh, it's a vintage, little vintage baby dress. But look how cute this is. I just really like it. I just tied the bow weird. But 
anyway, it has this big, if the bow would get out of the way, big collar, like a kind of a, what do they call it? Sailor or whatever. Look at the back. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Um, it's an infant size, three to six month. I don't know if thread up takes vintage. I don't think they do. So I'll probably just donate this. Let me put that in a separate pile. We're going to donate that one. I've had it too long. I just got it at the bin. So I probably paid like 50 cents for it. No big loss. It needs to move out now. This is cabby size extra small. Um, again, it's just not a style people are looking for. It's this kind of burnout washed out um, or burnout striped pattern, long sleeve tunic length as there's a loose string on here. I need to snip too, but it's like a tunic length or mini dress. I don't know. It's sheer. Nobody wants that. Uh, here's another pair of these juicy couture leggings. This is a different style, but it came from the same place that I was explaining before. Juicy couture, navy blue, size small. I knew it tags, but these ones, you guys have the stirrups <laughs> so bad. I don't know who enjoys wearing these. They're so freaking uncomfortable. You end up walking on that fabric. It's so uncomfortable. So I feel like I have like four or five pairs of those style too upstairs. So when I do my full inventory, I'm just going to take all of those out and send them to thread up. But for now, I'll send the two that I have to thread up in this package. If you guys want to follow up on if any of this stuff sells at thread up, let me know. Okay, this I think I'm going to actually keep and try to sell myself. Um, I can't find the label anywhere, but it's Prana. There it is. It's Prana size small. These athletic dresses, I need to stop buying them because they're just not moving right now. They did in the past move for me pretty well. Um, and maybe they will when summer comes around. But yeah, these little hiking athletic style dresses. But it's a good brand. I'm going to try. I, I just can't let that one go yet. Fabletics, this is a size small. Fabletics does not move for me at all anymore. Um, but if I were ever to pick up anything, it would be leggings, not tops. This is just a top and it has like the laser cutouts. Um, yeah, like that. I think it's cute. I'd wear it, but it's not my size. So we will send that to thread up. Okay, you guys, I finally emptied that bag that's been sitting in that corner for so long. I feel so good about that. We're making progress. Um, it just takes so much time. I'll, every one of these projects, even though I kind of cut in and out, so you guys aren't seeing how much time it takes to do everything, just from doing this one project and sorting this bag together, you guys can see how much time it takes to do each of one, each and every one of these projects. It, the time just adds up. So anyway, I'm going to find a big box that I can use to send this stuff to thread up. And maybe I can pull out some more items from my inventory to add to this so I can send a large box to them. I usually like to send a lot when I send them a box. So, okay, one more project done. Okay, just a super quick update. I found a box and filled it up. I added a few items that were like things I had not listed yet that I had gotten a d donation that have just been sitting here waiting for me to list and I don't think I'm ever gonna list them. So I just went ahead and threw those in here to fill up the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up and send this to thread up. Now, last time I sent something to thread up, it took like seven months before they even listed the stuff I sent them. So um, if you guys want to see an update, let me know. But it may be quite a while uh, before you actually see that video <laughs> because that's how thread up is. So anyways, I wanted to show you that. And then I also have packed up a box that's going to the real reel. Now, this one I did actually film telling you guys what was going in there and I showed you the items. I'm just sending eight items to the real reel. They were actively listed items as well. And I gave all the details in the video that I'll be posting. But that one, uh, that video, the real, real video, I'm not going to post right away either because, again, I want to um, see what they list things for, see what that sells for. So it may be a few months down the line before you guys see that video. But I wanted to let you know because there's eight items in there and I don't even know how many items went in this box. Quite a few. Okay, I have no makeup on right now. But and now because I did that, I'm down to 46.98 on my listings. You guys, I'm so excited. I got under 4700. I was trying to remember, I think I started this like declutter. It's not even a declutter. I started this organization, reorganization of my reselling business and office. Um I started like a month and a half ago or so and uh when I began, I think I had like 47 75, I think something like that. I might go back and I'll put a picture here if I have it. So I have made some actual progress. It has been slow progress because I am still listing. I'm just listing only five items a day now instead of 10. Um, so, but I am still listing and, um, sales have been down. So it's, I'm just not decreasing my listings as fast as I wanted, but 
but hey, I'm gonna take every win I can can take at this point, and I'm under 4,700, so woo, that's awesome. I hope I can stay there. I probably won't because I will have to list again tomorrow, but also I just posted a video. It was a vlog video that was super fun to film. But before I close out this vlog, I really, really, really want to put together that shelf. It's a two-person job, though, is the problem. Um, last time to, when I built this one, I needed my kids to help me, but I'm going to see if I can just do it because I don't have anyone to help me right now, and I really want to get it built before I end this vlog so that I have something actually tangible to show you guys. So let me try to do that. All right, you guys, I finished it. It is in. Um, it's not going to stay here, but I'm putting it here for now because um, I have to keep that wall where this is going to go. I have to keep it open right now because I still photograph there until I make room for photographing upstairs. But so for now, it's here and I can at least start bringing some shelves or bins down to fill her up. Um, I moved Mochi's bed over here. That's his little blanket he likes to use. And I moved his cat tree because um, he likes to climb up into the window seal. In fact, he's checking it out right now. And it looks like he's excited about it. He's like, what did you do with my stuff? Anyway, yeah, he just came back inside. Um, and then I cleaned up this section, as you guys saw before. I'll just show you again. This is all nice and cleaned up. Um, so yeah, it's feeling a lot better in here, especially from the beginning of this video to the end. That bag is gone. Um, I moved some of the uh, decor that was over here in that box because I needed the box for um, that thread up stuff. So making progress a little bit at a time. Now this is a mess up here, but that's okay. Maybe that'll be my next project. We'll see. But that's going to be it for this vlog because I am tired and I got to go pick up Amelia from her dad's house as always. So time to end this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, big progress going on in here. I feel like the next one is going to be even more exciting. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.